Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll just give people another minute or so to join um, and then we'll get started. All right, welcome everybody to our 6GJ, 6MC and 6CK parent information evening. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Kraus, Calvin Kraus, is unable to join us tonight, but um, this is Megan Clutton. She teaches 6MC and I'm Georgia Young and I teach 6GJ. So we'll go through tonight's presentation. If you could all just keep your microphone on mute, that would be fantastic. We will have question time at the end where you'll be able to pop in some questions into the chat. So just hold off on any questions at the moment. We may answer them throughout the session. We at West End State School acknowledge the Yuggera and Turrbal people's land and waterways where we meet, learn, play and celebrate together. We recognise and respect the First Nations elders past, present and emerging for taking care of Mianjin and sharing their culture, efforts and contributions for thousands of years. I might just interrupt there. We might just pop back because people are still joining and yeah. it's going to be, um, I'll just admit those people and then we'll pop back and we will continue. So this is our year six teaching team. You'll see on the screen there that we've got the email addresses for all of our team. Um, you'll also be able to get in contact with them if you do have any more specific questions for them. So the purpose of today's meeting is to meet a couple of faces of the Year 6 teaching team. We'll let you know of some communication processes, share the WES 2022 priorities, and then just clarify some expectations as well. Sorry, we can't hear the talk. It seems like people can't hear the audio. Unfortunately, we did do a few tests, but it seems like not everyone can hear it. Um, so we will move on from Kim McNamara's message for now. Um, we will be sending emailing out a link to um, the presentation. So if you were unable to hear it, or um, we, you'll be able to catch up on that later. In essence, Kim's message was just about how we at West End State School um, focus on building a sense of community, community despite the size of the school. Um, but like I said, you'll get you'll be sent a link for a recording from this, so you'll be able to catch up on everything there. All right. So in terms of communication, it is really important that we have effective communication between the schools, parents, and carers, students, and the community. You'll see on your screen that there's a number of different ways that communication is provided from West End. So you're always welcome to call during the office hours of Monday to Friday, eight till three. And then you'll see that there's newsletters, the school website, lots of emails and parent teacher interviews as well. Okay, I'm just going to interrupt one more time to go back and let people in to the meeting. Right, 
So School Newsletters is published online, which provides translation into many languages. So you are able to do that if that applies to you. We do have our date claimer newsflash. Then we have our year level newsletter that is sent um, from the year six teaching team on behalf of us. Then also our whole school newsletter. So you'll see that the weeks actually change as to which week you have a date claimer, year level newsletter or school newsletter. If for any reason you're not receiving these newsletters, um, you'll need to contact the office yourself directly to ensure they've got your correct email address as that they don't come directly from us. So you, you'll have to contact them. So in terms of communication between school and home, appointments with teachers can be made via email through our administration office. If you do want to discuss your child's needs with the classroom teacher, um, it is important to know that we are with the students from about 8.25 till 2.45. So meeting times will need to be outside of these classroom hours. So we also have the Q Parents app. I won't read out what it says on the slide, but I'll give you a moment just to have a look. If you use the Q Parents app, you'll be able to see report cards and assessment. Um, you'll also be able to update any child's details, including addresses and medical conditions. Um, and it is able to be accessed on a multiple number of devices like your smartphone, tablet or computer. So school uniforms, it is really important that your child is wearing the correct school uniform, particularly in year six as they are the school leaders and they are role models to the rest of the school. We do expect that they are wearing the correct school uniform. There is a lot of information on the slide, but the main thing, particularly at the moment, is that all students are wearing the navy and sky blue short sleeve polo shirt that has the school logo on it. They also should be wearing the shorts that have a sky blue strip down the side and socks should be white or navy only. They also in year six are able to wear their senior shirt as an alternative to the school polo shirt. Uh, but we do expect that all the students are making sure that they are wearing that correct uniform so that they are demonstrating what it looks like to be a West End student. Um, last time I promise I'll go back and admit these people. All right, so attendance does really matter. We are really stressing the fact that it's important that your child does attend school and on time as well. Although sometimes it might feel like just a couple of minutes late, it does all add up. So you'll see on that graphic on the on the slide there that school does start at 8.25. So let's all work together to make sure that your child attends school every day on time as well. So our West End PNC is a big part of our school community. The main thing about our PNC is the plans for 2022 is that we'll be growing our OSH services. There's the opening of the new uniform shop, which you may be familiar with if you've already visited. We also have opening of the new tuck shop, which is below the Performing Arts Centre, our new pack. Opening of the new PNC office and multi-purpose room and also continuing community to use in the new school campus. Um, they've also been raising funds to fix the oval to offer a safe and green space for the students to play in. On the screen there's some information about the PNC and some of the things they have achieved last year and a bit more of an ex explanation of what they're hoping to do in uh, 2022. Uh, if for those of you interested, the meetings are held on the second Tuesday of every month. The annual general meeting is in March, so that's coming up soon. And also there is the role of the parent carer rep. And this is about connecting with other parents. Your key function is organising one activity a term outside of school hours. There's more information regarding the parent carer rep that will be distributed in your year six newsletter that you'll be receiving in the coming days. Uh, just quickly, we're going to touch briefly on the WES signature practices, which I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with. Um, in essence, there's six key signature practices. Um, ones most relevant to Year 6 are guided reading, complex instruction, quick writes and the bump it up wall, and where necessary, our, uh, our PDM. Uh, we, I won't go into too much detail about these tonight. In the coming uh, 
year level newsletters we'll elaborate on each of those but hopefully your children will be able to explain to you what these are and why we do them and how we do them uh, something a little bit more relevant for year six uh, this year we are going on camp we are going in next term in week four so we leave on the tuesday we're back on the friday we go to mount tambourine um, it's nice and cold when we're up there so make sure the kids pack warm stuff there'll be plenty of information uh, passed on to you uh, regarding camp and there will be um, an electronic expression of interest form coming out soon just can we so we can work out um, the number of students in, uh, interested in going and start our planning for that process um, for students who don't attend there will be a teacher at school to supervise them so that's fine if they choose not to attend um, year six upcoming excursions Given that we've had restrictions on when we can and can't have excursions, we've got a couple of exciting things planned for later in this term. Coming up very soon, we are taking the students to the Queensland Art Gallery in Goma um, to help support the uh, the visual arts units we're currently undertaking. Uh, on the screen there, it just shows you which classes are going on which days, but information regarding those, including relevant invoices and permissions, will be sent out in the coming days. Uh, and then a couple of weeks or a week after that, we head off to the art gallery in Goma. We're heading to Fort Lytton um, because, it's, because of its relevance to our house unit. And again, the classes are listed there and the days they'll attend. So uh, all information regarding those will come to you in the coming days. Inter-school sport. Uh, Inter-school sport will commence later this term. What that exactly look like, looks like is yet to be confirmed. Obviously, we're still waiting to see uh, what happens with any restrictions that are imposed on schools and excursions and gatherings, etc. Um, but once we know, we'll pass all information on to you as soon as we can. For those of you not familiar with um, inter-school sport, there'll be inter-school sport and intra-school sport. So kids have the opportunity to travel and compete against other schools or they can choose an activity based at school. Uh, curriculum overview. Um, in this week's uh, newsletter, there will be a curriculum overview for each of the subject areas that we're doing. It'll just be a brief outline of what we're doing, just so you're aware of what the, what the kids are learning at school. And hopefully, again, you'll be able to have um, a conversation with your child and they'll be able to provide you with further clarity. Um, just on the topic of homework. Uh, so homework for Year 6 has started. It did start on um, our day one of last week, so Monday last week. So homework is strongly encouraged and acknowledged in year six. Um, and in year six, as we're trying to build some self-regulation and self-directed learning, we really encourage the students to contact the teachers themselves if they have any issues with their homework. Um, so if, if they have a problem, whether it's access or being able to complete the homework, we, requ we request that the students come and contact us or send the teachers an email just so they open up those lines of communication and have the confidence doing that when they move on to high school next year. Um, so in year six, our purpose for homework is, as always, to provide the kids with an opportunity to share their learning with you at home, is to consolidate work learned in the classroom, is to establish positive and productive work habits that they can carry on to their next stage of schooling and to pre prepare them for lifelong learning beyond the classroom experience. On the right hand side there you can see an image of what our one uh, our homework looks like. That's our homework grid. Um, you'll notice that some classes have also put their homework, it's all done on, on one note to prevent the books having to go backwards and forwards and prevent kids from losing homework sheets. A bit more information about homework. There, there's must-do activities. So each week for year six, there are five must-do activities, one for English, maths, reading and spelling. And the fifth activity rotates um, week on, week off for science and has. Each of these activities are designed to complement what we're doing in the classroom. So the students sh should be able to do these independently and the, the content is familiar to them. The can-do activities align with our school values of community, confidence, creativity, compassion and challenge. Um, homework will be sent home or it will be uploaded onto the platform on Fridays and it will be due the following Friday. This allows for work over the weekend if it's needed by families. Um, we ask that you help us support your child 
by balancing the amount of time they spent com spend completing homework as, along with other activities. And whilst homework is a priority, it shouldn't be something they're spending copious amounts of time on. Um, assisting your child with the resources they need and encouraging your child to speak directly to their teacher if they have any concerns. Uh, parent engagement. We really encourage parents and carers to be part of their child's education at home and in the classroom. Um, unfortunately, is there nice and um, bold in the orange? Please note we are currently limiting visitors on site due to the current restrictions. Um, when that changes, we're not quite sure. Um, if there comes a time where we need parent support, rest assured we will contact you and be begging for your help. Especially with the upcoming excursions, we may may or may not need some parent helpers. So um, again, that will be communicated directly via your classroom teacher. Um, when restrictions have eased, any visitors and volunteers will be required to sign in and out of the school administration building. Um, and you'll also be asked for evidence of your vaccination status. The sign on desk is located inside the office foyer and that's the Vulture Street office, not the new um, new office near our classrooms. All visitors need to sign in on the iPads and collect a lanyard and it needs to be worn at all times whilst on campus. Okay, so um, that, that wraps up our presentation uh, for this evening. Um, what we're requesting is in if you have any questions you type them into the chat and then we'll address them so that everyone gets to hear the answers if there's a question you have that's relevant to your child in your child's classroom context we ask that you contact that teacher directly rather than using this public forum to um, discuss it and finally thank you so much for your time we really appreciate the effort and the fact you had two extra weeks home with your little cherubs um, and please be assured that we are here to make your experience at West End incredibly memorable. We are all aware that year six is a really special year for the students and we are doing everything we can to make it a year that they will remember and enjoy. So I'll just close that. I'll just check if we have, I would just, I'll check to see if we have any um, questions in the chat. So I can see there's a question here is mindfulness part of signature practices? While it's not explicitly listed as a signature practice, lots of teachers have different ways that they incorporate mindfulness into their class. It is something that we are really focusing on in terms of like well-being at the school. Um, so mindfulness definitely comes under part of our lessons throughout the week, uh, but it isn't just classified as that signature practice yet. Any other questions? Okay, so hopefully we've answered a lot of questions you have this evening. Um, you have, hopefully by now, all your teachers have made contact with you, so you have you should have our email addresses that you can email us at any time. Uh, still have some people wanting to join. So we thank you for your time. Um, Obviously, it's very awkward. Um, sorry, there's a question there. Do the home do the homework require parent signature? Uh, no. So unlike previous years, where the where the the, te the parents have had to sign off on their homework, because we're trying to instill that responsibility and organisation in the kids, uh, it's about them having the homework done, and even that they they still need to complete a reading log, etc. So. It's about them taking ownership of it and taking control of it. So hopefully not harassing you on the morning saying, quick, quick, sign my homework, sign my homework. So, um, but you are able to see their homework and monitor their progress. Um, we would actually appreciate that because it yeah. makes it a little bit even, it makes it even more authentic for the kids when the parents are keeping tabs on them. I will just add with the homework, whilst the homework doesn't require that signature, the reading log does require a signature. Um, you'll see, hopefully, a child has brought home either their homework book or in their OneNote, depending on how their classroom teacher is organising it. Um, there is a reading log that requires a signature when the child has done their 30 minutes of reading. Um, so a question about the approximate time um, students should be doing homework. Uh, well, the expectation is, and building on from what they did in year five last year, we, we are expecting the students to read for 30 minutes four times a week. Um, that's just good practice and hopefully becomes a lifelong um, a lifelong habit for the students. In terms of the other subject areas, 
it really depends on uh, how they approach their homework. The homework tasks are not are not onerous. They they're not they're not arduous. They they, they should be able to really when you think about the spelling, it, that, that could be done in like in a half hour session. So it 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 shouldn't be taking them a long time. If it is taking them a long time, then we will, it, you may have to review their approach to their homework. Um, and that's something that we're happy to have a conversation with the students and talk to them about where they think the problem's lying and provide them with some strategies. But again, we really have to encourage them to come and initiate that conversation with us just because next year these, these, these students are going to face the prospect of having up to six different teachers. So hopefully if they get the confidence to have that communication with us, they can carry that across to when they are needing to um, communicate with lots of different teachers and juggle the different expectations they're going to have from teacher to teacher next year. Uh, there's another question here. Is Seesaw still an active platform for communication? Um, in 6MC, we do not use Seesaw for communications. Likewise, we don't either. Any communication will be through either an email that I'll send home or um, if you're looking for generic sort of information from the year six team, we will send out those year six newsletters. Uh, but Seesaw isn't used for communicating. Um, no worries, Eva, about being late. Um, yes, um, there will be. So if you did come in late, it's no problem. We will be sending you a link to the recording and the information that camp is next term, week four, Tuesday to Friday. And we will be going to Mount Tambourine. Any other questions? Okay, um, George and I, we'll, we will hang, we'll stay online for another couple of minutes if anyone else wants to have any questions. But that wraps up um, the official part of this evening. So thank you very much for spending your Valentine's evening with us. We are deeply honoured. Um, we hope you have more exciting plans than the two of us yeah. have tonight. <laughs> so um, feel free to leave the presentation whenever you like and we will hang around for a little while just to answer any other questions. Thank you. Thanks so much. Hello. Yeah, hi, just checking if you can hear me. Uh, all information about our camp to Mount Tambourine will be passed on once we um, have their returns of the expression of interest and we can gauge student numbers because that will determine the number of groups and activities. So all that information will come to hand. We are um, in the, the planning process is well underway. It started last year, but at this stage, the specifics, um, again, we can't really, we don't really want to confirm anything until we know if there's any going to be any ongoing COVID restrictions, but they will be communicated with you prior to the end of this term.
Okay, I don't think anyone has any more questions for us, so we will bid you farewell. Have a great evening, and we look forward to meeting you soon. Bye-bye. what we need to do. Yeah, I'm fine. And I think what we need to do.